Hey guys, welcome to Solo React Talk. Today I'm going to be reacting to Hell of a Boss, episode 4. Uh, it's titled C H E R U B. Uh, cheer up, something like that. <laughs> yeah, cheer up. Um, if you want to check out my previous reactions, remember the playlist will be at the top there. Just click on it and you'll be able to access it. Okay, let's start. Okay, three, two, one. Go. Well, howdy, I'm Cletus. Welcome to heaven. Guess you did something good to get here, and good people deserve to give loved ones special blessings. Does it make you want to cry? When your loved one has to die. Does it hurt you through and through? When your face is turning blue. Well, luckily for you, there's something we can do. We can help keep them alive. So, so you can watch them thrive. Cause here at THD, are you? Give me another mox. Okay, so <laughs> in hell they have reception for television shows or adverts that are happening in heaven. That's interesting. Uh, C H E R U B, Cherub, right? Maybe I'm saying it wrong. I don't know. Cherub, cheer up. No. I'm overthinking this. Okay, let's just continue. Eh, nah, not feeling it. Next. Uh huh. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I say, I say, are you looking to get work making crazy contraptions and goofy gadgets? Well, call me at Wacky Wally Watford's Wacky Idea Factory, where you make the things and I make the money. Please, I'm very desperate. Bingo. Woo! You're on a roll, sir. Guys. Do you feel that? Oh shit, is that a hell shake? That's possible. All right! Don't panic, Moxie! I'm not panicking, because hellquakes don't happen. Stop getting hysterical, fatty! Do not be afraid. And please tell me you got that insurance thing. Who are you and what do you want? I am Loopy Goopy, dastardly inventor of all things loopy and loopish! You could've just used the door, dude. Doesn't need to be this whole thing. I am eccentric and must therefore do eccentric shit. Ah, oh, this old fuck reeks of the living world. Did you just die? Yes, moments ago, in fact, which is what brought me here. Just saying, the front door would have gotten you here fine. Shut up, dear furry. This is the man I'm gonna need you to kill. Not even a shit's length of time in hell and already plotting revenge. I can respect a man with that sort of passion. I'm Blitz, the O is silent. What? Oh! Oh, thank you. Now, what's the tea, sis? The tea? Guys, help! Yeah, why are we killing this guy? I mean, what did he do to you? Housing! He was my business partner! You see, I was not always an old man! My partner, Lyle, and I ran Lyle Luffy Robotics, a technological empire. Earlier today, we were testing a new machine intended to stop or reverse the aging process. It could have saved all three trillionaires. Unfortunately, we neglected to test the machine on the poor, like we usually do. We were too sure of our own genius, but the machine was accidentally set forward by the time we managed to get out it was too late at least for me <laughs> now that evil son of a bitch is going to take over the empire we built together without me to share it with he'll make all the goddamn money in the world and become the fourth trillionaire and get all the credit yeah that's not really evil it's evil towards me. Everything 
He's going to the dark. Now get your crimson asses up above and send that heartless, no good son of a bitch to hell where he belongs. Y y you do know, Poop D. Poop D. Of course, of course. If we do kill him, though, and he ends up down here, you know, you will be stuck with him forever. Oh, trust me. I'm counting on it. That's kind of hot. Gee, I wonder whose house this is. And to your right is the home of famous inventor Lyle Lipton. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Let's do it, gang. Let's kill the... So they still don't use any kind of um, um, disguises, like human disguises. They still go out as they are, just with clothing. Hmm, okay, very brave. It's rich guy. And here you'll find three tacky stalkers about to attempt a murder. Things like this can happen to famous people all the time. Wow, that machine really did a number on him. Goodbye, my one true love. All the riches of the world can't fill the emptiness I'm feeling. Man, this guy's so rich, he even has a rich uh, a money portrait and I don't know, like a, it looks like a flower vase that's made out of money. Uh, wow, okay. Now that my shitty old body can't do anything of value. Oh, fantastic. He's going to do our job for us. Should we go in there and tie it for him? I'm being haunted by ugly orphan children. Okay, so when you go up into heaven, you become like a half animal, half human angel. Is that it? Yeah, okay, that's interesting, I guess. <laughs> now. Who the fuck are they? Oh no. Sir, those are cherubs, Mr. Lyle. I hate filthy, stinking orphan children. We're here to convince you not to kill yourself, sir. To grant you a blessing on behalf of those in heaven benefited by your amazing technological advances. Oh, hell no! Don't listen! Lyle Lipton, it is our humble opinion that you should continue the process to commit die. I mean, what did you expect to do with all this money? Now you're old and gross. Is that a serious question? He can help spread his wealth around with the people of the world and do so much good with it and be so fulfilled. Uh, no. He could pay for new hospitals and schools. Why won't you let me die? Oh, sounds like you need help off and yourself there, buddy. Moxie, what do we got for this fella? I have some assault weapons, crossbow, hunting bow, tommy gun, old-fashioned shotgun, revolvers in three colors, chainsaws, katanas. He's classier than that. There are still plenty of reasons to live, Mr. Lyle. Yeah, right. Smells like he ain't been out of bed in months. Okay, can I just say that Melly looks very beautiful? Really. I like what she's wearing. It's good on her. It's really, really good. And and Moxie as well. You know, they kind of they really do suit each other with the clothing. Yeah. Huh, couples. Wait, I said Mixo, right? I meant Moxie. Sorry. <laughs> or well, if you were to end your life, you'd be missing all of this. Mm -hmm. You're gonna buy that load of shit from a baby and the sheep it fucks? <gasps> that is so inappropriate! Oh, kiss our ass, prude! Anyway, take it from me, a fellow genius. Nature is no picnic up close. Stop. I've never wanted to die more than I do now. Uh, let's check out some places. Oh, Lord, where are we now? 
gonna let me perish! We're here to show you another thing life is worth living for. Childhood wonderment. Why, look at those sweet disease-ridden vermin. Their joy comes from innocence unspoiled by the burdens of adulthood and their middle-class existence. Such simple joy they have. It is inspiring. He ate it! He ate it! No! That's disgusting! Oh man. And you know, I've seen kids do that, like, in malls. Ugh. It's the most disgusting thing ever. I would just look at them and ask myself, why? Why did you have to do that? Ugh. Ugh. Tiring. Thank you for showing me this. Hey, dipshit! Wanna see whose lap you're sitting on? <laughs> Ah! 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 Ugh, this place reeks of teenagers. Lovers, look out, sir. We're here to remind you about possibly life's greatest joy of all. Money. No, love. I've never been in love before. I imagine it's quite nice. It's not too late, sir. You can still find... <laughs> nice try, ugly. Hey, horny lovers! Which one of you would fuck this old man? You know, you three are so utterly c cruel. We're just trying to give hope to someone in need. Oh, and you three are so superior to us just because we want some selfish, greedy, authoritarian capitalist to keel over dead! You're making things too real now, Moxie. Behold, the wonder of art and music. Something always there to comfort, entertain, and live for. So, how do we make these bad? We can't. There's literally nothing bad about opera. That's fact. Unless we ruin it somehow. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> well, at least we made it bad. That's it! I have had it! You three monsters have messed with us enough! We're just trying to do our job. Well, so are we. Enough! We are saving that shitty old man's life, whether he wants it or not. Well, someone wants that fucker dead, okay? And he paid in advance, and I spent it all on this. So he's gotta go. You are all such disgusting, loathsome beasts. Your kind is nothing but dirt that shitty dead people tread on. And now you're trying to meddle with the lives of humans? So are you. So why don't you shut your trap, you judgmental, cotton candy, tit-habbing bitch? Filthy demon! <laughs> to make sense now. Life is worth living because we only get one. We must cherish it. If creatures far beyond this living world are going through these lengths over my life, then certainly it's worth living. Killing myself is not the answer. Plus, I'm still rich. I could just buy all the things. I no longer crave death. <laughs> Guys, no, who moved the piano like that? Who was it? He missed it and then he just went into his direction again. Nah, nah, nah.
Someone moved it. I don't know who. Probably must have been Blitzo. I <laughs> there's just no way. For us. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Get a hold of yourself, Colin, and do not use the Lord's name in vain. This is it over. <laughs> No, sorry, Cletus, but I'm afraid your actions resulted in the death of a human. I'm afraid you can't re-enter heaven. Yeah, no. What? Yeah, mmm, sorry. Yeah, no. Is there anything we can do? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. But we didn't mean to. We never. It was all. Anyway, sorry guys, but those are the rules. Yeah. Bye! Wait! But <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, you guys can't come back. Yeah, sorry, bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was funny. So, what happens to them now since they can't go back into heaven? Are they just stuck here? If they kill themselves. Uh, probably will become demons or something in hell or something. Maybe. I don't know well, The old man wanted to live again and we didn't kill him so we failed thanks to those fucking cherubs He's probably up in heaven now, so It's a shame all our client wanted was eternal revenge on his business partner And now the two are forever separated and now we got to face the fire of fucking up sir When are you going to tell the client? Oh, I already sent him a text, and we're in good hands, because texts don't make people angry. Please! Lufa! We can explain everything. I was... Lyle Lipton? I don't understand. We thought you went to heaven. Heaven? You don't make millions in technological advances and robotics by not experimenting on the poor. <laughs> oh, you no good, heartless. Son of a bitch! Thank you for reuniting me with my best friend. The only question now is what do two old genius robotic inventors do now that we're in hell? Did someone say I say inventors? Name's Wally Wackford, and I am looking for creative new people to exploit. I mean employ. Everyone, stop fucking up my walls. Moxie's gonna have to fix all this shit. <laughs> Now chill out, Moxie. If you could kiss my ass any harder, you'll go right inside me. Satan's balls. First we deal with heaven's table scraps, now this. I guess you can say you say you have a holy operation here, Blitzo. <laughs> get out. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Get the fuck out! <laughs> Well guys, that's it for episode 4 of Hell of a Boss Cherub. Um, yeah, the, the Cherub organization in, in um, heaven and the Imp organization in hell uh, both fighting over an old man's life. Uh, the Cherub trying to save his life, the Imps wanting to kill him. What's his name again? Lyle, I think. His name is Lyle. Um, yeah, he, like he was ready to kill himself. Uh, he was giving up on life. The Chirrup gang of angels came and tried to per persuade him to stop. The imps also came there persuading him to, trying to persuade him to kill himself. And yeah, it was quite fun. Um, I think maybe he should have just, you know, died because him and his business associate did some terrible things when they were alive and uh, well, they need to pay. But I don't think people pay in hell. Hell doesn't really look like it's all 
doom and gloom and you know you'll be burning in fire and rivers of lava and you'll be tortured for the rest of eternity it just doesn't look bad i know like there's levels of hell right but so far as i've seen right now from the past um three episodes and the pilot episode i haven't seen hell being the hell that we read about in the christian bible or in any of these other forms of uh, religious text that describe the afterlife should your soul be you know deemed evil and corrupt you know it, it, hell just doesn't look like the hell that <coughs> the hell that we know so yeah hmm and heaven also it looked so bright and colorful and cheery and happy um but i really didn't see the difference it's just that one is you know black and red the other one is yellow and white there's, other than that there's no there's no difference um yeah hmm but it, it was interesting to see angels i think they are angels right the cherub organization they're angels uh they look like half human half animals um and they have another security level that forbades angels who have killed people in the real world to return back to heaven so i'm just wondering what happens to them are they now stuck on earth uh they can't do anything about that and for how long are they going to be punished can they get back if they do something or can they kill themselves and they'll be going into hell i mean what, what what's the process after this yeah poor guys they just tried to help that old guy <laughs> and that piano i'm sure someone pushed it someone pushed it into his direction it must have been his business partner somehow yeah okay guys that's it for today uh if you like the video please give me a like comment <coughs> sorry comment and subscribe to my channel uh click on the notification bell if you want to be up to date with my latest videos and i will see you next week friday with another episode of hell of a boss okay bye bye